Well, I've looked at this thing over and over again. You know what? It can overwhelm you. So what I'm going to do... went ahead and started plastering as I go just I'll start here I can see this I can understand this I could do a little piece basically I'm doing the track bed and then whatever it overlaps a little bit then I'll finish it up and I'm gonna do the track bed all the way around and then I'll see what I got then I'll move on right now I feel like I'm looking at too many things trying to fix too many things and it's like a uh, guy Try to stick his fingers in a bunch of holes in a in a uh, dam that's leaking so i'm just going to take this area and i'm just going to start working my way down it and if i see something i don't like then i'll fix it as i go if it doesn't look right and i'll just work myself around the track and eventually i'll get up there on there i am using this dry method and just to give you an idea on the dry method <clears throat> I'll just do this piece right here. It says don't butt them. It says butt them. Don't overlap them. So you put it over there and you squirt it. And then you rub it in. And then I can see what I have as I'm going. I know I need some paper in there. And I can fix that as I go. Got my boulder there. That looks good. I need paper there. Okay, you get the idea. Well, I got a pretty good jump. I like I like using this method. I can I can work this area and make it look good, and then just work my way across on the track. And as I need to add stuff, I add stuff, and uh, it just makes it a lot easier for me. It, right or wrong, indifferent. I just got finished cutting a whole stack more of these things and uh, I'm going to continue doing all the track around here which isn't that much more really not really that much more track and then I'm going to start doing the borders get the borders done and then I may work that lake a little bit and uh, I'll put all this on tape I'll go ahead and put it up there and fast forward it
and I got some of the wall done right here some of the little creek bed done down to here I'll play with all that tomorrow and none of this is done up here so it's uh I got two bags down two bags complete on here and I think I got four bags left and you know whatever it takes it's what's gonna take I'll just keep putting this stuff on there that little piece at a time instead of giant pieces it's real easy to manage I put it down where I want cut it the shape I want spray it wipe it you're done so and uh, these pieces like this that were round I've been finding I like them I like them better if they got a little crinkle in them so I crinkle it up a little bit <laughs> As a matter, I don't know, before it dries, I'd rather have that than, I'd rather have them that than round, you know, that's, uh, anyway, okay. Well, she's looking pretty good. I kind of like all the rocks down here. That all looks fine. And I'm going to tell you what I don't like, what I've noticed and then you come over here to the box and you know you don't get a whole lot you don't get a whole lot to go by but if you take a look here by the tunnel it's not so poofy if you look at mine over here I've got a lot of poof so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be remodeling that that's okay to have too much paper down there I I can always poof it down and that road is gonna have to be modified down farther because if you look at here Behind the town and behind uh, the front edge of the upper area and the back edge of here, the gentle slope. There's a gentle slope in here. It's not so poofy. I've got it real poofed up in this area. You can take a look. It's just real poofy. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to kind of remodel all that here uh, in a little bit. And uh, But what I'm going to do first... I'm going to finish this side over here with the first level, first layer of, uh, of cloth. I'm going to finish this area and the edges up to there. And then I'll start tackling this up here, trying to remodel that here today. Riding on the city of New Orleans. Illinois Central, the Monday morning rain. Got 15 cars and 15 restless riders. Three conductors and 25 sacks of mail. We're all out on the southbound Odyssey as a train pulls out of Kankakee. Rolls past the houses, farms, and fields. Passing towns that have no name in the freight yards full of old black men in the graveyards of a rusted automobile. Singing good morning America, yet yeah, don't you know me, I'm your native son. Well, I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans, and I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is done. Dealing cards with the old men in the club car, and it's penny a point, there ain't no one keeping score. Won't you pass that paper bag that holds the bottle? You can hear the wheels are rumbling through the floor And the sons of Pullman porters and the sons of engineers Ride their father's magic carpet made of steel And the mothers with their babes asleep go rocking to the gentle beat The rhythm of the rails is all they dream Singing good morning America, how are you? Yet don't you know me, I'm your native son well, I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans And I'll be gone 500 miles when day is done Midnight on the city of New Orleans Changing cars in Memphis, Tennessee but We're halfway home, we'll be there by morning Through the Mississippi darkness rolling to the sea now then all the towns and people seem to fade into a bad dream The old steel rail, it ain't heard the news The conductor sings his song again The passengers will please refrain This train's got the disappearing railroad blues 
singing good night America how are you yet yeah, don't you know me I'm your native son well, I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans and I'll be gone a long long time when day is done singing good night America how are you yet yeah, don't you know me I'm your native son well, I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans And I'll be gone a long, long time when day is done Well, I'm done putting any uh, stuff on this side and it's all looking pretty good i'm sure that uh i'm sure that i'll find something that i don't like i was going to show you this now again i don't know if this is okay or not but see these rocks are real rounded before they get real hard i reshape them the way i want them i don't like round rocks didn't want round rocks so I'll just dent these things up a little bit and then I'll let it dry I just give it some kind of a texture here like this one here there you go a little bit once they're hard they're hard but you can give them a little shape while they're while they're still wet and again I got a lot of it done here and I'm gonna go up and start playing with this area a little bit some paperwork <laughs> 